do want to mention something else that happened today. The um, I got a an email from uh, another supporter saying that the Washington State University scientist Michelle McGuire, uh, whose wife to Mark McGuire, who has Monsanto ties, um, has done a study on 41 women and their breast milk and urine and found absolutely no glyphosate whatsoever in the breast milk and found very low levels, if uh, but not of concern of glyphosate in their urine. And um, so they're saying, and this, this study was analyzed in a Monsanto lab, and so and they said that it was independently uh, verified by another lab uh, called um, Con Convents, Convents or something like that. To check, we'll be doing a, a response about this. Um, but they're they're refusing to um, put out. Well, they're just they're saying that there's no glyphosate in breast milk. However, a recent German study showed that there is glyphosate in breast milk. They set, tested 16 moms, and um, I forgot how many of them had glyphosate in their breast milk, but they had levels two to four times higher than what's allowed in the drinking water in Europe. And what was found in America was 1,600 times higher than what was allowed in Europe. We had 166 parts per billion in our, uh, found in the breast milk in a, in a mom, by, from a mom in Florida who ate conventional food and um, in, in Europe, it was only, you know, 0.2 uh, or 0.4 uh, parts per billion. And the allowable level is 0.1. So we had a uh, parts per billion in Europe. So, um, yeah, so, so we, we know, though, that there is glyphosate in breast milk. We know that the form of testing that we, we con um, had commissioned at the time uh, was not the, the best in the world, but it was the best possible. That's what was possible. The EPA was not protecting us. They were not doing glyphosate testing. The, um, you know, Monsanto had not done it. The food manufacturers that are using it, the 750 products that glyphosate is in, um, no one considered uh, doing this kind of testing. So we stay-at-home moms with $1,200 and a couple of weeks did it and found it, and they can't tell us that it's not there. They're, they're just lying. And um, we are going to have a formal response for them written up, um, but right now my response is um, lies. <laughs> That's it. So uh, we want to know what their, of course, their methodology was and what their level of uh, detectability was. Because if their level of detect detectability was 200 or something, well then, of course, you didn't find glyphosate in breast milk. You know, if your level of detectability has to be a, a, a reasonable level, um, and and also who were the moms, right? What were they eating and uh, you know all of that sort of thing, and 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 were the moms were there was their breast milk actually correlate with their urine, because uh, we we have um, information that it wasn't. So there there's some more stuff that's going to come out. I'll be saying more about that, but um, just know that we're being attacked from all angles. Uh, you know our credibility just because uh, they want to protect their profits, and um, the main thing that I'd like to say about that is look to the money. Look who is commissioning the studies and what they stand to benefit from it. Me as a mom, did I stand to benefit anything from that? No, I didn't. I'm not getting a salary from an organic company. Uh, none of the moms who donated their breast milk and spent $45 to FedEx it in and, you know, time and energy to get it to the, to the, um, the, the um, post office, they, they didn't benefit from that at all. Zero. Nothing. But Monsanto stands to lose billions of dollars if they admit that there's glyphosate in breast milk and that there's a problem. And for them to say, this, uh, Wall the, the Washington State University to say that the EPA is going to actually um, consider this study in their assessment and their review uh, for whether or not they're going to reapprove glyphosate is absolutely ridiculous because it's only 41 people, and everybody knows that a scientific study, in the scientific community anyway, knows that it's got to be 200 in order to have it be scientifically sound. So there's a lot of really questionable things going on. It's, there's no lab report published. There was no, she mentioned methods, and she only, mes she only mentioned one method, and um, they don't mention the detectability levels. There's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of things going on here. So we're being attacked on all sides. But... Um, 
we, we have a lot of passionate moms, a lot of people who are not going to give up about this. We're going to talk to our senators. We're going to call. We're going to email. We're going to fax. And, um, you know, we're, we're going to keep going.